Good day, everyone. It is the captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos, and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals, and all of your mates. A big thank you to Tammy, Laura, and of course Noak for suggesting this video, and she is a doozy. So, as the voice. Of the voiceless, let me tell you what's going on. Police witness a vehicle crossing the centre boundary line, which is about as dangerous as upstaging Tonya Harding on the ice, so they pull her over for a traffic stop, but this silly billy stupid face gets out of her car and acts like a drug abused donkey for a little bit, and like a UK apartment building, things go fiery pretty quick. Let's have a look. Get back in your car. I'm pulling you over. Get back in your car. Get back in your car right now. Get back in your car. Get in your car. What are you doing? Hey, hey. I don't know what your problem is. Send me back. Excuse hey, me. hey, hey. Stop walking away from the stop. Get back in the car. I feel threatened. Get back in the car. No. Get back in the car. You're like, uh, be do under you arrest. have a police camera on? Yes, I do. I it's feel on. very threatened. You're touching your... your... Get back. Because you're getting out of the car. Call, call, the 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 car. call the police. Call the police. He's not. Get back in your car. I don't know who this man is. And Get I was just coming into my car. I'm stopping you because you crossed over the lane, improper lane usage. I turned around and pulled you over. You got out of your car. Please get back in your car. Uh, no. Call your supervisor. No. Get back in your car. No. What's your deal? I don't know what your problem is. I pulled you over. Why are you getting out of the car? I didn't attack you. I didn't even touch you. Get back in your car. You need to take a moment? I don't know what your problem is, please. Holy fuck, we are off to a good start, aren't we? I don't know who this man is. What, the police car in uniform was not a fucking giveaway? Fucking hell. Acting like you're having an anxiety attack to get out of talking to the police is up there with trusting Andy Dick to check your prostate level of dumb. She fucking looks like a thumb that has congestive heart failure, doesn't she? Also, don't go dragging the store employee into your shit. They have enough things to do, including cleaning that window that you've touched up with your KFC greased up fingers, and they better fucking get onto that pretty quick, because it's going to attract wildlife. Okay, you need to get back in your car. What's going on? I don't know who, what I'm to happen. I'm I have a not. lady. Stop Please call your supervisor because you're not. You're not empowered. You're not. I wasn't doing anything. And you're attacking me. Get back. You, you grabbed your gun. You were, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know you. You need to get back in your car. The reason. Can I, can I talk to you for one second? Can you hear me out? So I pulled you over, maybe you didn't notice, but I got out of the car and I said, hey, please get back in your car because I conducted a traffic stop on you. And now you're not listening to direction. I need you to get back in the car. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Call your supervisor. You have no right to do this. Call your supervisor. Just to pull you over, yes, I do. So we're going to stay here. I don't mind. I'm not going to put you in cuffs or anything like that right now. For what? I haven't done anything. Because you're not listening to my orders. I haven't done anything. I need you to relax. If you need to sit down, that's fine. We don't need to escalate any further. I haven't done anything. Okay, you, Why you are committed you trying to put me in handcuffs? What law have I broken? Because you're not listening to me. That's not a law. I know my laws. Okay, so you disobeyed a traffic violation. I'm not talking to you. I need a lawyer. I'm that's not talking fine. to you. Get your okay. supervisor. I need a lawyer. That's fine. I got people coming. I need a supervisor. So what I'm going to need is your identification right now. No, sir. Get your fucking okay, supervisor. Okay, so are you refusing to you're... identify yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. So asking for the supervisor because you know your laws removes any argument that you had that you didn't know who or what the copper is. You fucking know laws the same way the movie Milo and Otis isn't an animal snuff film. And I don't think I'm the only one that will think that your panic attack is fake, fake as fuck. fuck. Fucking Cinderella's stepsister here looks like she would insist on breastfeeding her kids until they're in their mid-twenties. You have the same chance as Roseanne Barr has for opening for David Chappelle than getting out of this traffic stop. So settle down your sovereign citizen titties and shut the fuck up. Get your supervisor. I need you to identify yourself. So you're going to need to provide me with your identification while we're waiting. 
Because I'm conducting a traffic plan. I haven't heard you called the supervisor. I already got a few units coming. Okay. Is your body camera on? Yep. Okay. I'm going to stand up so he can see me. That's fine. You have no right to detain me right now. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I haven't broken any laws. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yep. Yeah, I'm just yeah, you're yeah, I'm right there, Brookdale and Westminster in the lot where the little strip mall is. Do you work here? I don't answer questions, especially from people who are attacking me. Okay. Because she's calm right now. I pulled over for her improper lanes and she crashed over the middle there and then she got out of the car. I'm not sure if she I realized was I was pulling here. her over. Okay. And so, now she's in the car, she's feeding back into the car, or identify herself. So, okay. that's where we're at right now. I didn't need to go hands-on because she's still standing here, so. Yeah, if we, plate, come back yeah, if you just let me know about the plate. <clears throat> okay, so now I got a bunch of my officers here. So, I'm going to need you to provide me with your license. No, sir. Okay, then you're going to be under arrest. I'm what you is know the reason for improper the arrest? Improper lane usage. No improper lane usage. Yes, you crossed over the middle of the line. No, I pulled you I was over. pulling into you're... this parking lot. Okay, so you have one other option. If you do not provide me with your license right now, I'm going to take you to jail. Why do these floating shits in the sewer pipes of life always believe that they are right and the cop is wrong? The Count of Monte Bistro over here is about as right as Alex Jones is about how the chemicals in the water are turning our frogs gay. Fuck you, Alex. Everyone knows that it's the 5G signals that are coming from the soundstage where they filmed the moon landing in Area 51 that's doing that. So fuck you, you're wrong again. I do like the fact that the cop is gloved up because he knows that he's going to have to go hands-on with Super Size Me Susan over here and he doesn't want to get expired gravy and bad choices all over himself. He has foreseen the future and knows true well that we are about to play Fuck Around and Find Out. Okay. That is incorrect. Okay. I Turn around, put your hands behind your back, please. Um, do you get your cuffs on you? Yeah, I got I have mine in my pocket. Right oh, I just switched. That's why. What is, what is the reason for my detainment? Because you're not giving your driver's license. You got that pulled over for a traffic stop. That is not against my law. Can I, can I talk to you? Yes. You got pulled over for a traffic stop. Whatever the probable cause is, it is One. what it is. Female, you are driving a car, you're operating yeah. a motor vehicle on an Illinois roadway, and you have to provide your driver's license. If you fail to do that, you're going to be under arrest so we can go mm -hmm. go through your things okay. and find out who you no, are the hard you have way. no reason for search. You're, where's your warrant? You are where under arrest. Warrant? You are under you're, arrest. You, where's okay. the warrant? If you want to go ahead and search your quick ass yeah. too when we get I'm to my car. car. No, yeah. where's your warrant? Where's your warrant? We've already explained everything to you and I'll do it. I know my rights. I want my lawyer. I do not understand. I am not under whatever you guys are doing. I do not understand. What do you do? You have anything on you? No. Sorry. I have nothing on me. Okay. Yeah. You are, have no right to go through my purse. I think it's good. Okay. No, you do not have right Stop. to go through my purse. You are incorrectly. Yes. I am yes. not. Stop resisting. Right what now. is the reason for my detainment? Because you're not providing your driver's license. We're past that point, ma'am. We are past. What that is point. the reason for my detainment? Because you did not. I do your not understand. License. I am not under this. Okay, I am not in agreement with this. No, oh, fuck. You don't need to be in agreement with this. For someone that knows her laws, you seem pretty fucking retarded about it all. That's like me saying that I have an N-word pass because I kind of know about racism. Shit, even as an indigenous Australian, I'm not that fucking dumb. I know I have to follow the rules like everybody else and, and wait for my black friend to say that it's all cool and that. I'm not under whatever this is. Listen here, built like a brick shithouse. The only thing you should be under is a good cardiologist. You're under arrest, and I'm guessing this isn't your first time either. By now, you should know that your YouTube uni degree in tucking your tits into some tube socks is about as useful as Michael J. Fox's fucking roller skates. I bet your nickname in college was drugs, wasn't it? Because everyone knew not to do drugs. I am not in agreement. I do not approve of this. Okay. What is the reason for your you detainment? 
You're not being detained. I am. Under what arrest. is the reason for your detainment? Because you're, you're not arrest. providing your driver's that license. That is not a valid reason. Okay. There is no reason for yeah. you okay, to do that. You can fight this in court. That's the whole point of this, right? So yes, and you will all. Uh, what's your badge Netflix? number? Yep. Yeah, let's go. Let's what's go. your badge let's number? Let's go. A Arbor. Please tell me your badge number. All be on the ticket. All of your Fletcher, D Fletcher. And A, you have no reason to go in my purse. Oh, I hope you have a good. Yeah, you're under your arrest, your police bonds numbers. will be in trouble. Okay. Your police bonds will be in oh, trouble. Still in there. Uh, excuse me, put my I stuff see. back. This is against the law. All right, go ahead. No. All right, let's go take a seat. What is your name and what is your badge number? I have good reason to ask your badge number. You will have everyone's information. I want everyone's information. Okay, 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 everyone's all of your bonds will be in trouble. Just okay, watch. That's good. You will be re you'll, later. You'll see. All right. I do not understand. Just so you know, you'll be audio and video recorded in here, okay? Thank you. Please record everything. Yeah, I'm not sure if she realized I pulled her over, but she got it. I said, "Hey, please get back in your car." She refused. She went identify herself, and she still wanted to identify herself. So. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I just it's like don't listen to me. So. Did she jump out on you? Like, what happened? No, I pulled her over. I'm not sure if she realized I pulled over. So I was coming this way, and she crossed over the center line right there. So I turned around behind her, put on my lights, called it out. And she gets out, and she starts walking to the locker room. I'm like, no, no, please get back in the car. Did Doing a traffic stop. Right? And she's like, well, no. What did I do? And I'm like, you know, improper laser. She crossed this, over yeah. the center line. So please get back in your car. No. I'm like, okay, well, you got to listen to me. This isn't a request. She wouldn't listen to me. I'm like, you have to give me your ID. And I was like, might as well call you guys. So. Yeah, good job. Just on a side note, I would like to inform these fine, upstanding female officers that I will be breaking some laws in Naperville later this week. I'll be doing some loitering and some jaywalking on 75th Street, just out the front of the Jiffy Lube, between the hours of 1 and 3. Look for me, I'll be the guy in the red hoodie. I promise you this, I can't solve all of your problems, but I can sure as hell fill your titties and tell you you're pretty. That's about it. Anyway, just so you know. I tell you, I do actually enjoy listening to the post fuck around and find out debrief. He was like, oh, fucking Honky Kong jumped out of the car and started acting up. Oh, I thought I was going to have to throat punch her so hard that her brain reset to factory settings. And then you three Captain's Angels turned up, so I didn't feel the need to do it anymore. I swear the smartest person in Grimace's girlfriend's family is her dad, because he up and fucked off before she was born. I don't paper. agree with it. It's unfortunate. I wonder, I mean, she's not acting sovereign, kind of, but like she has a driver's license. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was not Or is it a fake that. driver's license? I don't know. It looked. It doesn't, I mean, I don't know what a Georgia license looks like. It, it does, does look, look legit. Yeah, it does. What is the reason for my detainment? This was the reason. That is not against the law. Something that against the law. I am not under that law, whatever it is. That, what code is that law? When you get what driver's code driver's is the law? When you receive a driver's license, you sign and you promise that when you are stopped by an officer that you will identify... What is the code? What is the code number? It's under a dri I don't know the exact code, but you have to provide identification when you get pulled over. You were involved in a traffic stop today. And that's what happens. You have to say who you are. What There's you no reason for me to be detained, especially in handcuffs. I do not understand. I do not understand. I do not authorize. I do not agree. You have to tell us who you are. It's not acceptable to say that you don't... What is the reason for my detainment? Because you wouldn't tell us who you are. Now we know who you are. You illegally searched me without a warrant. You legally took my possessions without my warrant. My red wallet, she had it in her hand and she took it and she went through it. To find out who you are. She had already seen my driver's license. Then she additionally went into my red wallet to see what else she can find. My red, my red wallet was after she found my driver's license. She had no reason to go into my red wallet. And we're going to get this sorted out. Okay, I'm glad everything's being recorded. What is the badge number of the gentleman that's standing there has additionally been a, assigned to this? What is the badge number and name of that gentleman? I don't know his badge number, but that's my sergeant, Sergeant Ragusa. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's a good-looking petition in the back of that patrol car, isn't it? I wonder if that
that's a pro guard. Not a sponsor of the channel, but they fucking should be. One of the captain's angels wasn't too sure if this fucking reverse centaur was a sovereign citizen or not until she started clacking on about what code the law was. It's the shut your fucking bitch mouth code. How about that? Apart from driving up crime statistics and fucking calling the police on your neighbor's barbecue, how else does this albino panda spend her time? Let me know in the comments what you think she does with her time, apart from fucking being everyone else's problem. She looks like she has an 80 to 20% chance in drowning whenever she drinks fucking water from her trough, doesn't she? Actually, do you know who really enjoys water? Sophie Cookson. She loves it. We go skinny dipping all the time together. One time we went skinny dipping in the Pier Marquette River in Michigan. Oh, it was a beautiful day. She tailored my Kingsman, if you know what I mean. Are my, is my car locked? Did you? Yeah, it's locked. And I'm not going to tow it or anything. I'm just going to leave it there. We have no reason to tow it. Well, subject to arrest, I'm allowed to. But, I mean, I really don't see a reason because it's on private property. So... Can I have my credit cards back? Yeah, you'll get them. They're coming with you to the jail. You said, yeah, you'll get them. You'll you'll get them at the jail. Yeah, so they're coming with you. Later. Why have you compensated confiscated my credit cards? Why did you take them out of my purse and not my other things? I got your purse right here. Why do you have my purse? That was not illegal search. You had found my driver's license before you found my purse. You have detained and illegally searched my purse. You're detaining my credit cards at this moment. Is this car being recorded? Yep. Thank you. What time does your computer say? 10 30? Yeah. Do you know your bond number? I'm sorry? Do you know your bond number by heart? My bond number? Bond. Bond number. I don't know what that is. Okay. Again, I would like to reiterate, I do not understand. I do not comply. Which Naperville police station are you taking me to? No, oh, okay. I'm not... What is the? I'm not aware of the address. Can you tell me what the address is? Yeah. Okay. Okay, please step out for me, please. I will not comply with this. I will not agree to comply. I'm not going to help in my detainment. Well, I do not understand, and I do not comply. Do you want to get the reuse out here, maybe, or give me a call? What? Do you want to get the reuse out here, or no? Because then it seems like she's going to fight. Let me get fight. soft gloves. I don't know if that's going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me just tell you how this works. Right now, you are under arrest, and we have to book you. The longer that you refuse to let us book you, the longer you're going to sit here. It's not going to go away. We're not going to go away. You're just going to sit here forever. We have to book you. Whether or not you agree with it, I that's will not just... comply. I do not understand, and I'm not going to assist you in my unlawful arrest. This is incorrect, and I would like to talk to my lawyer. Okay, well, you can't do that I until will... we book you. Once we book you, you can talk to whoever you want to talk to. You're not going to get a phone call. You're not going to go to the I'm bathroom. Not going to you're not going to get anything in my arrest until you let us book you. For something that is incorrectly unlawful. Okay, well... I do not understand, and I do not... I'm comply. just going to let you know, the longer that we wait here... We can wait here all day. I don't care. I'll be here. But if we don't book you here, we're going to take you... That. We're going to take you straight up to but, the county, and then you're going to spend the night at DuPage County. Can you please tell me what is your name? Uh, what is your last name? So, and your badge number is 10059? Yep, it's going to be on all the paperwork. But unless you let us book you, we're just going to take you up to county, where they're going to force book you. What is the reason for, for your alleged... What is what? You want me to explain to so, you why yeah, I stopped we'll you and then why you're under arrest? What is the reason? What is the reason for my detainment? Okay, so you're not detained right now. You are arrested. I am detained. I don't okay, know why. Okay, so I'll explain it to you. You committed a traffic violation, so I conducted a traffic stop on you. Does your car have a uh, um, camera? camera? Yep. yep. So that would have caught it. And then you got out of the car. I instructed you back to the car, so then you failed to follow my lawful commands to get back to your car during a traffic stop. Okay, then after that, I asked you for your identification, which by law you need to provide on a traffic stop, and you refused to provide it to me after I asked you multiple times. This would have been a simple warning, but you've turned it into a ticket and rest. They have explained it more times than a special school art teacher doing finger painting, yelling at the kids, for fuck's sake, Jason, stop putting that in your mouth. You fucked around and you found out. End of story.
story. Claiming that you don't understand any of it is about as useful as a nun's nipple ring at this point. My fucking sleep paralysis demon has more fucking charm than you. But then again, so did the AIDS monkey. You look like the fucking remains of both Thelma and Louise after the fucking crash. So that's the reason why you're under arrest. You were very aggressive and you touched your gun and you were very aggressive. Because you got out of the car. You weren't even nice. You You weren't even nice. Why would you have to be so aggressive? That was very threatening. Okay. And I was very scared because I thought you were going to reach your gun and pull it out because it was very threatening. Well, you got out of the car, so that's the reason my hands on my gun. No, I was already out of the car when you go, hey, and I turn around and I saw somebody. Exactly. I mean, I don't know you. I don't know what you're doing. You saw a police car, a police officer in a full uniform with his lights on. So I don't know. I do not answer questions. I'm not. No, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Well, the camera will show everything. The camera will show everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's also recording now, showing that you're not cooperating with us. Still, I have rights. If Regis doesn't care, I'll take it down. Well, he's he's right here. He's pulled up right now. What is the name of your supervisor? You'll talk to him when he comes in here. If you don't want to cooperate with me, why am I going to cooperate with you? Uh, excuse me, it's it's my do, it's my right to have the name of the supervisor that's being assigned He's literally to me. He will come right and talk to you and himself. Already okay. given it to you too. When I ask that, that's that's something that you have to give me. I don't have to give you his name. Uh-huh. I don't, actually. Well, you'll you'll find out later that you do. Okay. All right. Because that's a he will, he will give you his name when he gets in here. You'll talk to him, you'll see his badge, you'll see his name. This is my sergeant, Sergeant Ragusa. Hi, how are you? Hi, Sergeant. What's your name? What's yours? Sergeant Ragusa. What's your badge number, please? 4357. Thank you. Can you, uh, what's going on? I do not understand and I do not comply. Okay, well, we can, I can help answer any questions for you. But before I do that, we'd like to get you in here so I can I'm not answer gonna, all your questions. I'm not going to assi- assist in my detainment. No, it's not de- assisting in your detainment. It's just cooperating to get you in there so we can... I'm not going to assist in my detainment. It. Well, they're going to they're gonna bring you in there. Is there a medical condition that we should be aware of? I am on my menstrual cycle. Okay. Is there something that you can't get out of the car? That you need to like maybe see a doctor or something? Or I'm I will not, not sure. answer any questions. Okay. Well, they need to they need to bring you into the jail for processing. What is the reason for my detainment? I've explained it a few times. So I wasn't there, so I'm just asking you questions. So I'll explain it to for you again. So you committed a traffic violation. Avoid. I'm sorry? Of, of what type of traffic regulation? Improper lane usage. You crossed over the center boundary dividing line there, okay? When, so that's why reason I pulled you over. Continuing to explain anything to Buffet O'Connor is more of a waste of time than shitting out a smartwatch. I'm not sure why having your menstrual cycle is important enough to count as a medical issue, unless the cops need to be aware of it, you know, in case a bear attacks or something, or maybe Officer Mosquito comes on shift. What are you expecting is going to happen here? That they just get sick of your shitty attitude and fucking leave? I mean, they're not your kids for fuck's sake. You look like if the singer from Three Doors Down and Ricky Lake had a kid that grew up to be a fucking school cafeteria lunch lady. So you pulled in the space, whether you saw me or not, I asked you, I said, get back in your car. You did not get back in your car, so you disobeyed my lawful command. Then I asked you multiple times for your driver's license, and you refused to provide it. So why that's did why you, we're here. Why did you grab your gun? Because I don't know you when you're out of your vehicle. Why were you so aggressive? I was not aggressive. So let's just kind of back it up. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm just trying to get to know what's going on. Can I first get what your first name is? I do not give names or anything. You already have illegally searched my purse, and you are in okay. possession of my wallet right I wasn't, now I wasn't with there. my credit I'm trying, cards. I'm trying to You're in possession with my of my wallet, and my credit cards, and there's no reason for it. Why didn't you put it back in my purse? They're going to give you all that back. But how come you didn't take the rest of my purse if you took my wallet and my credit cards? I didn't want to break. I have purse. cash. Here, here, here. You didn't take the cash. How about this? How about this? Because I don't care for the money. How about I ask all the answer all your questions? And in return, you just come on in here so that we can kind of get. I'm not going to do anything that is in agreement. I do not understand. I do not comply. That's fine. And I'm not going to assist in in an unlawful detainment. Okay. No, sir. Well, what what what's going to happen is that you are to be brought into the jail, and I'm just kind of telling you what's going to happen so that we can move this process along. You are under arrest. Okay, you understand that. And what he needs to do is just bring you in there to start the process so that we can get you out of here. 
And in order to do that, there is a intake room in there that they want to bring you in. And, and let me just, so there's no surprises to you. I don't want you to be scared. I don't want there to be any issues. And I want to answer all your questions. What he wants you to do, which is part of this procedure, which is not, is, is happening. Okay. I'm just letting you know, is that we want you to step out of the car. They're going to bring you into the Sally port or into the shakedown area over here, which is where they're going to search you to make sure you don't have anything else because they have to do that before you enter the jail. And then once you're in the jail, they're going to, they're going to take your cuffs off. They're going to put you in a cell and they're going to answer a bunch of questions. Whether you answer them or not, that's truly up to you. They're going to get their process going. And as soon as they're done, they're going to let you go. As far as I know, as far as the charges. Can you please and tell me what process. is the code of the, of the reason that he pulled me over? What was the lawful code of How that? How about this? How about I answer all your questions, not here in the garage, but inside there, and I'll answer all your questions if you do me the favor and just let us get the process going. No, sir. Okay, well, you can't sit in the car, okay? You have to go in there. Okay. And the easiest way to do that is that you just step out and follow us in there. I do not comply. There is a charge for obstructing and resisting. You're already what, is the code? what is the code for that? I'll give it to you there. I'm answering all your questions. I'm trying to be cooperative for you. Okay. okay. I wasn't out at the scene, but I'm surely here to listen to you and answer your questions. But in return, I would hope that you would cooperate with me. Okay? I'm not going to cooperate. Nothing personal, but I'm not going to cooperate on my illegal okay. detainment. Part? Okay, and that's fine. I fucking always wanted to know what would happen if someone ever got syphilis in their fucking brain. Now I know, I guess. She probably fucking got it from sucking off a homeless magician who gave her that fucking haircut as well. Just get out of the car! Or maybe if the cops shook a bag of Funyuns or something, that would help, eh? Alright, you're under arrest! You have no say in how this goes! I mean, you're only one acute brain injury away from being a full-blown fan of Justin Bieber! And they used his music to torture motherfuckers! I bet! You smell like a warm turtle tank, don't ya, hey? Fucking hell, we know where this is going. She's not going to even get out of the car. She's not going to comply whatsoever. So she's got no choice but to play round two of Fuck Around and find out. And as far as you disputing that, this is not the venue for it. You can, you can dispute that in court. No problem with that. But what happens from here is you have to get out of the car and you have to come into the jail for processing. And what happens after that is entirely up to you. If you don't want to answer any questions, that's up to you. There could be additional charges, just be aware of that, but that's entirely up to you. You have every right to exercise your rights and, and all that kind of stuff, but what has to happen and is going to happen is that you're going to come out of the car and we're going to bring you in there for processing and then you can refuse everything else that you want. Does that sound reasonable? Do you understand that? No, sir. I do not what understand that. that do you not understand? I do not understand and do not comply. The choices are we take you out of the car and bring you in there. You better you not hurt me. That's entirely up to you. You better not hurt me. I have not done anything to be hurt. It's not intentionally to hurt you. Nope. We're trying to take you out of the car. but We can't leave you in this car. I'm not going to assist in my lawful detainment. That's, that's not assisting in your lawful detainment. I'm you not going to assist. You're already detained. You're already under arrest and you've been detained. Right now you're in handcuffs and we don't want to leave you in this car. We can't process you in the sally port. Okay. It, 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 you Nothing don't personal, have... sir, but I'm not going to comply. Okay. Well, you really don't have a choice. Is and we'd anything, rather... Anything we can say that can gain your cooperation no. at all? No, ma'am. And why is that? Because I do not understand and I do not comply. At this point, I'm going to remain silent. I remain silent. I plead the fifth. Okay. We're okay. going to take you out of the car. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and take your spot here. We're going to go ahead and move your feet okay. out. Okay. Do not hurt me. Not, do not hurt me. Not, no, because okay. I, if you hurt me... I have not done anything to you. Okay. I just want you to walk. Okay? Do not hurt me. Okay. All right. You need to sit in this car or this chair? I do not understand and I do not comply. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Right. Okay. Do not hurt me. Okay. Do not hurt me. Okay. 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 Why don't you sit down? Think about what you're doing. All we want Can you, you to do. Can you pull my pants back up, please? All, all we want you to do is Can to walk Can you pull my pants back up? Can you pull my pants up? Absolutely. Well, why don't you stand up so we can do that? <laughs> okay, can you pull my pants up? Can you stand up so we can do that? No, please. Okay, well, no, then I can't. Do you need, do you need a, a paramedic or an ambulance to check you out? Can you pull my pants up? I'm, I'm... Can you stand up so we can assist you with I'm that? I'm not appropriately... Can you stand up so we can assist you with that? Can you stand up so we can assist you with that? Can you please cover my stomach? I'll get Can you please cover my stomach? just texted me. Who? Holcomb. I tell you what they need to get fucking El Heifer up and moving. The nightcap t 
tactical forklift. There is no job too big for the nightcap tactical forklift, let me tell you. They can just wheel it in, smash it into the side of the squad car, lift up the forks, that will lift her up. They'll probably need a few people hanging on the back of it to counterweight it. Drag her out of the fucking car, push her into a kiddie pool, give her a bucket of fish heads or whatever, chill back and relax. The tide will eventually come in, and once the tides come back in, they can finally push her back out to sea. I mean, she is the human equivalent of Stephen Hawking saying, yeah, I'll have you back in this bar fight. Just completely fucking useless. I reckon she looks like what would happen if the actor from Young Sheldon grows up to be addicted to pain medication. Honestly, she looks like a hooker that Gru would hire to fuck all them minions that work for him. Four from 22 if you're still at the jail. Or the PD, can you just come to Sally Court? Well, I mean, we can bring her in there if you want to grab the door. Yeah. All right. If you're good with it, just give yeah. me an extra buddy. All right. I'll grab this side and I'll pull up for you. Well, here, I'll or you got it. Well, you know what? Hold on. Hold on a second. Can you pull here? down my shirt? Uh, I don't know what he just said. Give, just give a second. Because I was saying, we can just take an arm and then yeah, we have the legs, legs too. Yeah. So, okay. so we're not dragging around. No, I don't. I, don't I know my rights, and right now, I know that you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Ma'am, we're, we're trying to help you, but you're the one laying on the ground like a dead fish. Okay? All we're asking is this. and I do not understand. Okay. Complying has nothing to do with this. You're, it's just being a human being and standing up. I don't know, so if you want to take that side, um, I think she's going to be dead weight again. So. One, two, three. Can you pass over my buddy? Sit her on the city position. Would you, would you please walk in for us the rest of the way? No, sir. Nothing personal, but I am not going to assist in my detainment. Okay. Right. We're, We're asking the wall. again if you would please walk Ready? in there. Is that okay? Ready? No, sir. Ready? Okay. Go. No. Are you standing? No. Ready? One, two. you could drag her behind a tractor and plow a field ready for potato season. From that angle, it was almost like staring Satan in his eye. I actually know a song that was written about the bacteria that lives on her body. And it goes a little something like this. It goes, <clears throat> Just remember that you're standing on a planet that's evolving and revolving at 900 miles an hour. <laughs> She is so fucking uncooperative. Like, if you were to ask AI to 3D a render of what the perfect date for Bill Cosby would be, it would be her. Even the Bandito Biker Gang, they were asked once if they would like to see some naked photos of her. Even they went, no, fuck no, we are not that sick. And in case you're wondering, she was indeed done for the obstruction, the resisting, plus the traffic offence. And she got to spend some time having Big Bertha swipe her hairy credit card in her busted cash machine for a little bit. I tell you this, Big Bertha loves it when they don't comply as well. So fucking high fives all around there, I guess. On that note, it does bring us to the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope. You've taken your shirt off, got naked if you want, click that like and subscribe button. You're going to help me reach 15,000 subscribers by the end of August. I think that would be really nice if we could do that. My penis will get so excited I won't know what to do with it. I'll probably play with it to be honest. But if you've done all of that and you're going to help me reach to the 15,000 subscribers by the end of August, now you can go running down the street, find your local kebab shop, Kick open the kebab shop doors and say, listen here, you falafel eating fucks. You better watch this video. They'll watch the video with you. They'll fucking enjoy it really, really well as well. They'll probably take off their shirts and get naked and stuff as well. Probably rub some fucking hummus and garlic sauce all over them. You can lick that off if you want. I'm not your fucking dad. I can't tell you what you can and can't do. Anyway, there's going to be a huge kebab shop orgy that you started. So you should be fucking pretty proud of yourself. And who knows, you might just get some money. But I better get going. I'm expecting a fucking phone call from Terry again. <laughs> fucking Terry. He rings me yesterday. He's all in a huff. 
he goes, oh, oh, I have fucking something to fucking tell you. I said, hit me with it, Terry. What's going on, big fella? He goes, well, my fucking girlfriend is just a little bit fucking pissed. I said, she's pissed off at you now. What have, what have you done? He goes, oh, I didn't fucking do anything wrong. I don't think I fucking did anything wrong. I said, well, fucking tell me what the story then. Well, she's obviously pissed off at you for something. And he goes, well, she fucking called me the other day. She fucking rings me and she says, Terry. And I said, yes. And she said, I just hit a fucking fox on the way to work. And I fucking said to her, Captain, I fucking said to her, I think you're fucking lying. I said, why, why would she lie about hitting a fox on the way to work? That doesn't make sense. And he says, well, well, fuck you. How do you and how does she know that fox was on its way to fucking work? <sighs> fucking hell, Terry. All right. All right.